I got a couple of good friends who many, many years ago were riding around in the South Alabama foothills. It was a hot August day, and uh, they got thirsty. Bernard Haygood was driving. Jimmy Glenn was the passenger. They pulled behind this old abandoned farmhouse, and uh, Bernard hopped out. He ran over, and there was an old uh, pump on the well, and he grabbed the handle, and he started the pump. How many of you have ever used one of these old-fashioned water pumps? Can I see your hand, please? Okay, well, he had just a pump in a way, you know it. After about three or four minutes, he said, Jimmy... Better get that old bucket over there and dip some water out of the creek. We're going to have to prime the pump. How many of you know what I'm talking about when I say you got to prime the pump? Well, for you underprivileged non-pumpers, that just means you got to put something in here before you get something out there. Can't you just see an old farmer standing out in the fields in October and saying, Lord, I know I didn't plant a thing this year, but if you give me a big crop this year, I'll plant more than anybody next year. It ain't that way, folks. You got to put something in before you can expect to get anything out. Well, he's just a pumping away. You know, that's hot. It's August. I mean, uh, the question is just how much pumping are you going to do for a drink of water? And finally, old Bernard said, you know, Jimmy, I don't believe it's any water down there. Jimmy said, yeah, it is, Bernard. You know, in South Alabama, the wells are deep. And, oh, we're glad they're deep because the deeper the well, the cooler, the cleaner, the sweeter, the purer, the better tasting the water. And isn't that true of life? Isn't it true that anything worth doing is worth doing poorly? Until you can learn to do it well. We'll never know how much more success we would have had had we just had a little more pumping in there and pump and pump and pump and pump. Well, finally, old Bernard just got disgusted. He threw up his hand. He said, Jimmy, there's just no water down there. Jimmy said, don't stop, Bernard. Don't stop. If you stop, the water's going to go all the way back down, and then you're going to have to start all over. The reality is, folks, and I'm totally convinced of this, this is the story of America. This is your story. This is the story of success. This is the story of life. I believe with all of my heart that if you will pump long enough and hard enough and enthusiastically enough, that eventually the reward is going to follow the effort. And then once that water starts to flow, all you got to do is just keep a little easy, steady pressure on it, and you're going to get more water than you can possibly use.